Hey everybody, it's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts Halt and more. I have a Dollar Tree haul for y'all tonight, and I thought it'd be fun to do like a little sip and see. So I'm going to sip while y'all see my Dollar Tree haul. Because mm -hmm. that's how we do around here. Takes the edge off after a long, long day. Anywho, so we're just going to start off with like the randomness or whatnot. Um, so yeah. First thing I'm going to show you guys is not from Dollar Tree. We stopped at the Goodwill yesterday. I didn't get but two things. I really don't need anything. My craft sash is horribly packed. But, you know, you're a crafter and you walk into a Goodwill. Excuse my hair. Like, whew. We'll talk about that in a minute. Anywho. Um, so, I had to. So, I did get this grab bag of wood stuff. It's just a different wooden shape. So, it came with four of the oval wood pieces and four squares. As a crafter, I can turn this stuff into almost anything. So it was $3.99 for the grab bags. And then the only other thing I got from the Goodwill was this cute little, give me this, a metal thing. So it has three boxes. You can take them out of the trays all taped together right now. And then it even has these little you can pull these out and change whatever on there, but I'm probably going to paint this. I, I mean, the blue is not bad, but it's just not my kind of blue. So that was it from the Goodwill. Okay, the hair today. It's 92 degrees here today in um, northwestern PA. Mm -hmm. Make up your mind, Mother Nature, because last week it was in the 60s and 70s. Anyway, so... I made the mistake of brushing my hair today, and my hair is curly, and I know better, but it was so knotted, I had to, I could barely even get it pulled back up in this ponytail, if unless I did so, or this messy bun. Yeah, so it was like, whoa, it was bad, it was bad, so I just pulled this up in two rubber bands as a messy bun, and I put one of my Dollar Tree scarves in my hair, and yeah. That's how it's going to be today. Anyways, let's get back to this haul. So, um, I got me, um, another pleated face mask because it seems we're going to have to start wearing these again soon, possibly. And I thought that was cute and for a buck, like, why not? I also picked up two of the self-laminating sheets. It's a three-pack. So it says, used for photos, business cards, recipe cards, and more. No machine required, so I'll give these a try. I picked up some of these cover-ups for bowls and that, because for whatever reason, when I cook dinner, I make the kids clean up from, well, they don't do the dishes, but they put dinner away and everything. They claim they can never find the lid to the, any of the Tupperware, which I have cleaned that cupboard out. I think I do it like every other month. The lids are all there. I match everything up. But whatever. If that makes life easier, so be it. I got... This is the first time I've ever seen Mega My Size paper towel. And it has 168 sheets, so I picked that up. I was looking for the four-pack that people are starting to haul. But I have not seen it yet. I found just this plain gray scarf for my hair. A plain navy blue one. And then I found the cheetah print one, which I absolutely love. If I could find me a solid black one and a solid white one and maybe even a solid tan one, I'd be happy because that would match just about everything I own or at least, yeah, I'd be alright with those colors. Anywho, nobody cares about that. They did have all the Ioni makeup out, but I don't really, like, I have this set of drawers over here. One, two, three. It's 12 drawers and they're almost all full of makeup or hair products and all that stuff, so, but I was running out of a mascara, so I figured I would try the Ioni Volumizing Black Mascara Minty Fresh, and this is what the packaging looks like. It's cute packaging. It says tapered brush, and I like these kind of brushes. I just feel like I can get in there better and pull my lashes out better with these, and sometimes I'll go over it again with like a curved mascara brush just to pull them out a little more. Um... Picked up some band-aids. I did get the peanuts ones because they're cute. But we always need band-aids around here. 
usually because I'm getting injured more than my ch my kids. Granted, my kids are older, but still. I did pick up from the toy section Marlin and Nemo. Um, mostly because one of my closest friends, his name is Marlin. We've been friends for like 20 years, and my kids always used to call him Nemo because, you know, he's Marlin looking for Nemo, so... I don't know, it was just a funny little thing to see, so I had to pick it up. And I haven't told him yet, but he's probably going to laugh. I only have three food food products. One is the Twizzlers Pull and, Pull and Peel Minis, the cherry ones that I like. We got more gummy cluster nerd rope things. And then I picked up two packs of this Icebreakers Ice Cubes Arctic Grape Sugar Free Gum. This is really good really good gum. So I got two of those. Some baby powder. I'm sorry, I'm waiting to see if there's talc in this. Surprisingly, there's not, but I didn't buy it for its normal use. You can actually use this to mix with acrylic paints to turn it into like a chalk base paint, make it thicker. It smells like a little baby. I did pick up the Activated Charcoal Mouthwash by Nature's Fresh. It says fresh and breath, <laughs> freshens breath moisturizing aloe, no alcohol, never tested on animals, vegan friendly. We'll give this a try. We use a lot of the charcoal toothpaste and that, so I figured we give that a whirl. Um, I hit the jackpot oh, no, 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 no. on gold toe socks again, so I picked up more. There's glitter on these only because the sales girl put a gl glittery item in with these socks, which, whatever. Okay, I got this two-pack of knee-high socks, so you've got the gray, the purple, the pink, and the black. On this pair, and this pair is just black, and these would have originally sold for $14. And then I got a cotton sport liner, two pairs, invisible protection for your feet and your shoes. These are really soft. And this would have been $10. I picked up the Fashion Gold Toe Queen's Diamond. It's only one single pair, and I couldn't get the sticker off to see how much these would have originally been. I'm going to assume probably 6 or $7, because that seems to be the going price for one pair. And then I did pick up another set of socks for my dad. They would have originally been... Ten, I'm not ten. Eight dollars in a hound's tooth pattern. That's it for the gold toes. I picked up just one set of two. It's two, right? Or one? Maybe it's only one. That's fine. It's a flower sack towel. Now, I can either use this to DIY, or I make pumpkin roll, and this is a lint-free towel, and you need a lint-free towel to roll that sucker up when it's done baking, and you fro put the filling in and all that nonsense. Shh, don't tell my daughter. I bought four, four notebooks, but I have to. They were cute, and I can give these away as gifts, like, do a little notebook, and it's, like, my friend loves tea, so a little notebook, a few, like, a box of teas, and a pen, and what, if, like, something cozy, like, whatever. So this is by Crown Jewels. I just love the swirls and the colors, and on the inside, it just has that same pattern, just grayed out. I thought that was really pretty. It'll be on my notebook stash. And they, these are more like journals, and I really, I really like these. They're all like really boho, but this one says "Hello Sunshine," and this is by Jot. And it's got the little elastic thing on it. It's hard, it's a hard back. And it's just got lined note paper in there, sixty sheets. Does this one say how many sheets? No, they never tell us how many sheets are in these ones. And then I got. This one, which is also hardback by Dot, 60 sheets. Same thing on the inside with the rubber band to keep it closed. I like, I like that it has these. 
little things to keep it closed. And last but not least, and I think this one might be my favorite because I like the arrows, I like the colors. It's like a dark gray with gold and then the teal. This is also 60 sheets by Jot. Same thing on the inside of this one. And last thing in this basket that is boring is this protective wrap to wrap stuff in that you're going to ship. And I'm not going to lie, were some pranksters in my house. I did consider for a second saran wrapping my toilet with this to get my daughter or one of the boys. The problem with that is this. If I do it, I'm going to be the one stuck cleaning it, not them. So it's just not worth it. Oh, and so then, nope, I'll wait on those. And on this. Don't look. We need another sip. I'm getting a little parched. Okay, now let's get into some fall. And I have Halloween too, but the fall is less than the Halloween. I don't know why my Dollar Tree's got more Halloween than fall so far. So, this was one of well, these, I will say, were on my wish list. So, this is getting it marked off. I got the color yarn ornaments and the little coffee mugs or whatever. I already have plans for some of these. I picked up the fox, just the plain pumpkins, the acorns, and the leaves. And these are all in the crafter square fall section. That's the tag, but this looks like this on all of them. And you get eight pieces of each of those, so that's not a bad deal. And then I picked up more paint set color things for me in the teenies, teenagers to do. We did do the, um, the little ones that, of the Halloween ones we got last night. I'll post a picture at the end of this of those. Um, but I found some fall ones, so I picked those up. So I got, I don't want to open this yet. Move out of my way. The pumpkin, and it just says, give thanks. The scarecrow with the sunflowers. And it's got like a little glitter bowl. Bowl bow not bowl and then this is my favorite it's a little where will i cannot speak tonight i need to go to bed clearly wheelbarrow with sunflowers in it and it says hello fall in the glitter we never use these paints or markers or anything that come with these things uh, we use paint markers that i have in my craft stash um i did find the gnomes i love gnomes the little gnome dish towel so i got one of the dish towels the set of the square pot holders and one oven mitt because this was the last one they had and that's fine because I mean it's just going to be hung up for decor most likely unless I have to use it for whatever reason I only picked up two more velvet pumpkins because I have a ton of these throughout my bins in my house full of Halloween and fall and all that so I got the one in navy blue and the one in the rust orange because I think these colors are amazing together. Look at that. I love blue and orange together. And then I picked up one of each of these. I got the Hello Fall with the pumpkin on it. I'm probably going to change these. I had these last year. I changed them. And then this one is in the yellow plaid with the sunflower and it says grateful. I didn't get the black and white buffalo check because I'm like I don't need any more I think I still have some from last year I did pick up two more of the white velvet picks of white velvet pumpkin picks they haven't had the bag the bags of the mini velvet pumpkins or the plaid pumpkins because if they did I would have probably had a laundry basket full of that because I that's something on my wish list that I've been searching for nothing yet and then I just picked up this random pick I don't even know if it's missing any missing anything on here. So there's that. And it's just got like almost like a Gerber daisy. Two of those, a pine cone, and some of the fall berries. And then I picked up another berry garland because I think one of my YouTube sisters might be looking for this, so I'm gonna send her that. And then this box it says always be thankful. I've been seeing this there for a while and I just kept passing it up. Because I'm like, I really don't need you. But then it was the last one sitting there by itself, so I was like, fine. And this is the small version, and the side of it just has leaves. 
I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way or not. So the front of it has all that glitter, but the back does not. It's really a pretty color. I mean, even this side is pretty. We're almost done with fall, everybody. I did pick up, up two of the styrofoam pumpkins. I still have a couple in my stash. They didn't have any other color but orange. I would have preferred the white ones because they're going to be so much easier to cover with paint or whatever I decide to do with them. But it is what it is. So I picked up two of these. They had all of their uh, two different, this sign and another sign, but I like this one the best. I don't think I'm going to change this one. I like the colors in it. It says autumn apple picking hay rides, crisp air, crunchy leaves, and give thanks. And it's got the white pumpkin, the orange, and the blue, and then the sunflower. The sunflower. And then I picked up this stake. It says, Friends Gather Here. Again, I like the colors of this. That tealy blue and the cream and the orange. And then, last but not least for fall, I did find some of these chunky wood pumpkins. There was a couple more. <laughs> the centers of them were like wonky. So a D for Dominguez, my last name, L. I'm probably going to change both of them, not going to lie. So that was really all they had new for fall that I cared to pick up, we'll say. I think I got some photos of other stuff that they had. If I, if I do, I will post it on here, on this video. This slide. Okay. And now to my favorite basket, La Halloween. Only because there's so much in there. Okay. So I did get these Nomi socks. And I told myself I was going to stop buying socks. But then I seen these. And then now I'm just kicking myself for not getting the ones with the llamas on it too. Because you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I love llamas also. But they're super soft. So I think these will be perfect for fall. Okay, and then I get only get one of these pumpkins. It's supposed to light up, so we're going to find out together. Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. So that's cute, but the glitter. This is what was in the bag with the socks, I believe. Look at the glitter. Look at all that glitter on my hand. All right, you need to go off. Okay. I did finally find the soaps. So Michelle Bright... If you haven't sent it yet, you don't have to send it no more, hon. Because I did find the soaps. So I got the skull and the pomegranate vanilla scent. I smell no vanilla in this. None. Pomegranate, yes, it doesn't smell bad. It smells good. And then I got the ghost in the coconut lime. And this smells like coconut lime. Like, it kind of reminds me of the Bath and Body Works coconut lime. And then I picked up a couple haunted houses for us to paint. So there's those. I got four bags of the Halloween color your own ornaments. Excuse me. Um, for Halloween, and they each have eight pieces. So I picked up the cats, the little scaredy cats. See how his fur's all tucked up. The witch's hat. The ghost. In the jack-o'-lanterns. I don't think they had any other ones for those. I did pick up one pack of the metal words. So they say, haunt it, spooky, and beware. I'm, try I'm trying to keep that glare so you guys aren't blinded. Oh, I got my dog. My dog. These little bat wings to wear. Because if I get her a full costume, one, I don't know if she's going to fit it. And two... She probably wouldn't last in it long. And then I also picked up this decor word eek. They had this in boo, but I like the eek better. Just for me to paint. Maybe put on a wreath or put it on my bedroom door because, you know, ward the children off, which will never happen. I finally found the plain chalkboard signs. And it's got the pumpkin cut off cut out in there. And it's chalkboard on both sides. Even if I don't use these for... They were in the Halloween section. Even if I don't use these for Halloween, I can just cut this part off and use them for whatever I want. And paint over the chalkboard or whatever. Oh, I finally found Mr. Frankenstein. 
and his bougie girl, his bride, the bride of Frankenstein, which I'm probably going to jump on the bandwagon with everybody else bleaching these on a shirt. And my daughter wants one now, too, like that. Hold on, guys. I found these two cutie patooties. They're just little tea light candle holders. And they say boo. So I got the one in white and black and the one in black and white. They did have an orange one, but I just wasn't, I'm like, no, these two are just fine. This goes with more of my decor throughout my house than the orange. I did find some more florals in Halloween. So they had the black roses, and these ones have some glitterized skulls on them. But I don't mind these. Let me see if this glitter comes off. Yeah, it comes off. Not horribly. Not like that pumpkin did, but. And then they had these purple ones. Of course, those are my, these are my favorite. And these ones have little, see there's the purple roses. And these have little bats in them, like shimmery bats. I only picked up one of each. They had red, too, with the silver skulls, but I'm not big into the color red. Oh, hold on, everyone. I got a cramp in my toes. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, my bad. I hit the chair. Okay. Oh, and then these, I think these are so cute. Like, I might leave these out all year, but I might have to cover this up. But I got these candle holders. The little skulls and you just put like a tea light candle in there or maybe a taller like a small votive they're called votives right candle i thought those were cute i love the pink i love them both and now my daughter wants to go back tomorrow and get her own for her bedroom and then where are you at Okay, don't So, I did get the DIY wooden stickers. One pack of each. They only had three that I could find because I pulled the whole peg off and went through every single one of them. Because the last pack of these I'm going to show you guys, they were hiding way in the back. So, I got these ones. And it's got the haunted house, the boo, the spiders, the witches, the bats. So, these plain ones you can paint or you can leave them that way. And then I got the jack-o'-lanterns. So it's got the orange ones, the wooden ones, and then these black ones, and there's only two of them. No, three. My bad. But the black ones with the bat cut out, those are cool. And then, of course, my favorite, which is going to lead us into uh, what the rest of this stuff is that I found, which is all Day of the Dead, or Sugar Skulls. So I did pick up these. So you get some purple ones, the orange ones are super detailed, you get this one that you know, you can color all of them or whatnot. So we got these. And then I found, and I've already warned my daughter, if she steals and she dies, I break her fingers. The coffee mug. I will use this every day. If I have to clean it every day and reuse it, I will. It doesn't say how many ounces this is. Not recommend it for microwave in the dish or the dishwasher, but that's fine because I don't have a dishwasher. You're looking at them. So there's that. I did find this three-piece bowl thing, and aren't they all look the same in each one? I was like, oh, this would be nice to have out, you know, during this time of year when we're playing Uno or whatever other games, chips and dips, a chip, chip, dip, or chip, dip candy, whatever they want, chip dip pretzels, whatever. I also got mm, one of the dish towels. I only bought one because they're not great quality, so this is just going to hang like on my stove or something as decor until one of the heathens touch it. I did get this little charger plate as well, which I was thinking, because you know, I don't use anything as it's intended to be used. Yes, I have a blanket on because it's chilly up here. But then I was thinking about this when I was sitting, like that would be cute, like a little, tr 
I might have to have my daughter pick me up another one of these tomorrow. If she goes. Like, wouldn't that be cute? The skull is the riser, and then you have this already on there. Like, hello. Boom. Done. That'd be an easy craft. Some, I don't like E6000 because of the stench. Super glue or Gorilla Glue. Oh, I did pick up only one of these. They had the orange and green ones, and this was the only purple one left. And I just like purple, as you guys have, excuse me, seen. I got two of these. They only had two different styles. And they're these little sugar skulls that you can set anywhere. And it has a little kickstand, like for a picture frame. You can just set it. ta -da! Next to my fire. My fake fire. And this little feller swear oh you can't even see him don't even matter then don't worry about it and then they did have three large hanging sugar skulls so i got one of each so i got this one with the red roses this one with the pink daisies and this one with the huge rose in the center of its forehead which is i think this one is my favorite because that is just that's on point. That's on point. That's pretty. And then, last but not least, they had, don't you guys remember, I had hauled for the Halloween like a ghost and a black cat that was made just like this as these rockers. Well, now they have the Day of the Dead ones. So, they have the cat. I got the cat. The dog. Same thing. And then the pumpkin, which I told my kids. I can fix this. I can fix this. That's an easy fix. Just a little bit of glue. Anyways, I told my kids I could probably carve a pumpkin that looked just like this. But you get the idea. Okay. And then I just picked up three laundry baskets because I've been cleaning out the basement. And we're going to use these to sort the clothes in because the thing I have now, it's old and it's, it's like one of those canvas ones and it's breaking apart. So I'm just going to pitch that. I got it for free anyways from work. And we'll just use the baskets. So I got the navy blue, the coral. You guys already seen everything that was in here. And then the mint green. So yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it all. I hope you enjoyed my haul. I hope you had a, a sip with me while we saw all this nonsense that I get to put away now. It's not going to happen tonight, but I'm going to put it away tomorrow in between work. Yeah, that sounds like a better plan. Have a good night, everybody. If you liked my content, you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that goodness. Stay kind. Love one another. Talk to you all next time. Oh, I hope to have a Kirkland's dupe. No, we'll say Kirkland's inspired craft video out. Hopefully by the end of this week. So, stay tuned for that. Alright, bye y'all.